Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Blanca Sela and please subscribe before you leave. In today's video, I'm gonna be I'm going well, I'm going to try to do a burgundy smoky eye. And I'm gonna try to put some gold glitter in the corner of the eye. And probably a dark lip too. I'm not sure what lipstick though, but I do know I want a dark lip. And I did pop on my contacts and my wig today. And I already did my face makeup. Um, yeah, I did everything. Yeah, because I don't want it to be that long. So I'm just going to focus on the eye makeup today. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade right here as my transition shade. This one right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the crease, but also on all the way to the, my eyebrow, like I did with all my transition shades. And I'm going to start off with my AOA Studio Brush number E127 from my All About Eyes brush set by Shaw Miss A. It's a good brush set, you guys. So. To my crease, and then I'm also going to bring it all the way up to my eyebrow, like I do with all my transition shades you so fucking precious when you smile yeah hit it from the back. now i'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here this one right here and i'm gonna apply that to my crease and i'm gonna be using the aoa studio brush number e128 which is this um smaller fluffy pointed brush i can drive you wild now I'm going to grab the same brush with no extra product that I used before. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit from up here because I did bring it up. Now I'm going to grab brush number E132, this smaller brush right here. And I'm going to dip it into this shade right here, which is an orangey shade. This one right here. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be applying that to the crease as well, but I only want to keep it in the crease. I just had to let you. The same brush before it with the yellow shade again. And I'm going to put that on top of the orange just to bring it back a little bit. And then the same brush I use first and just blend this out. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be grabbing this flat to fluffy one, which is the E129. And I'm going to go into my Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to be applying this pink shade right here. This um, dark burgundy pink shade. To my crease but i'm going to start bringing it down to the whole lid but i'm, all, but I'm going to be applying a darker burgundy shade to the lid so i'm just going to start like defining it and bringing it and, and bring the smokiness out does that make any sense mm -hmm. so i just put some on the tip first and i'm just going to start putting it in my crease first to start defining it and then i'm going to start bringing it down to my whole lid no, Now I'm going to grab my Mikasa brush number E230, which is a smaller version of that brush. It's just a little bit smaller. I'm going to be using this one because I don't want it to make any fallout or make a big mess. And I'm going to be moving into my Tar Tardis Pro palette. And I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here called Drama, which is a burgundy shade. This one right here. So I put some on the brush and I'm just going to go ahead and start packing this on the whole lid. I'm actually going to go back and forth to the to this shade and then the pink shade in the 35B palette. 
just because I feel like that one is too purple and I want it to be a little bit more on the burgundy side. Since I already packed on the purple one, I'm going to go ahead and pack on the pink shade again on top of it just to see if that brings a little bit of burgundiness to the eye. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually the shade I wanted it. So going back and forth really did help to bring that burgundy shade. That burgundy shade that I actually wanted on my lid. Since I don't actually have a burgundy shade. And then to start blending it out. I'm going to be grabbing the first pink. The first brush I used as for the pink one. With no product on. I was going to start blending this out. In the crease. And then on top of that. I'm going to be blending in the, the yellowish shade. And I'm going to mix it with the orange shade. So I'm going to mix back and forth. But mostly with the orange shade. And just blend this out on the top. <laughs> then I'm going to grab the same brush I used first. And just blend this out on the top. With no extra product. I'm going to repeat this step until I blend it out really good because it's looking a little bit harsh and I really want it to be blended out. Yeah. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Fierce Flicks by Seate London. Seate London, most of the words are already... Wear now because I use it a lot, but for eyelashes today, I'm gonna be wearing my icon lashes in the style Bugatti. Oh, fucking happy, you're alive. <laughs> yeah, swear to God, I'm down. If you down, all you gotta say is right. Okay, so one, I went ahead and I popped on my eyelashes, and then I did go ahead and I added some glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. I'm gonna be using my NYX glitter primer. I'm just going to apply this with a small lip brush. So I'm just going to grab some on the brush. And I'm going to put it where I want, where I'm going to put the glitter. And for glitter, I'm going to be using my AOA Studio Crystal Powder in the shade Barrel. I think that's what it is. It's this one right here. And it's a gold one. This one. I'm going to get a bigger brush, but it's still a lip brush. I'm just going to pack some on there. And just start applying it where I applied the glitter. The glitter primer. <laughs> And then what I also went ahead and I did, I got my glitter eyeliner from BH Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Rapture. This one right here. And I used this to make the, the glitter a little bit more pointed. So what I did is I... Now we are popping, girl. Popping, popping, popping. <laughs> so I'm going to be adding that yellowy shade that I added to my crease first. And then I'm going to add the pink shade 
um, on top of it. And I'm going to be using two brushes. I'm going to be using my AOA Studio brush number E139, which is this small brush right here. And I'm also going to be using my Mikasa brush number E310, which is one of my favorite pencil brushes. This one right here. So I'm going to be using this one to apply the yellow one just because if I use this one for the pink one it's going to make a really big mess. So I'm going to be using this one for the yellow one. I'm going to be applying that one first. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use this the other brush to pack on the pink one on top of it. But the pink one's going to be a little bit more closer to my lash line. In my waterline, I'm going to be using my, my e.l.f. Active Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. This one right here. <laughs> I love how pigment says this eyeliner is because I just went in with one swipe and bam, girl, there it is. There it is, you know. Now I'm going to be applying the same mascara to my bottom lashes. The Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm also going to use it to blend out my rear lashes with my fake lashes. You so fucking precious when you smile. Yeah. Hit it from to outline my lips today, I'm going to be using my City Color Chic Leak Lip Liner in the shade Pecan, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to be applying two lipsticks today. First, I'm going to be applying one by NYX. This one is the Self Matte Lip Cream in the shade Transylvania, which is just a really, really dark lip. I just had to let you know your Okay guys, so that is it for this video. My camera decided to stop recording, so I'm recording my outro on my iPhone. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.